Welcome to Time Winders. Welcome back to another episode with Time Winders. I apologize for not being able to create new videos consistently. It has been a very busy final quarter for 2023 and there was a lot to catch up for 2024 but I thank you for coming back to the channel and I will try to develop new content with more consistency from now on. Today, we'll be looking at a new release from IWC roughly 4 months ago. The IWC's Pilots Chronograph Performance AMG seems to me like a new product line inspired by motorsports or rather Formula 1 itself. Prior to this new performance chronograph, there were AMG-inspired releases including the Mercedes-AMG Patronus Formula 1 team watch back in 2022. Let's go through some technical specifications on this release. The 41mm performance chronograph comes in either a titanium or serotanium case which I do think is a perfect size for IWC's chronograph and is powered by the 69385 automatic, self-winding caliber. The 69385 caliber beats at a frequency of 28800 vibrations per hour or 4 Hz. The 20mm strap or bracelet options are also offered with IWC's Ease Exchange system. In summary, the addition of a tachymeter, a redesigned dial with new sub-dial elements, and a new bracelet pairing for the performance chronograph gives it a unique design we haven't seen from IWC up till 4 months ago. Personally, I am a fan of the Mercedes Formula 1 team and I did appreciate the team watch released in 2022. The release of the performance chronograph has got me wondering about the design process because the combination derived from this design brings about some complexity in comparison to how well balanced IWC watches has been so far. I mean, let's take a look back at the Mark 20, the latest engineer, the regular pilot's chronograph or even the perpetual calendars in the catalog. Even though those product lines are very much established over a long history but the balance of the design of those pieces are very much appreciated and the performance chronograph in my opinion seems to have tipped off that balance a little bit more than I would have liked. With all that being said, I am sure that IWC will continue to work on this product line and heed the feedback from many watch enthusiasts around the world and one day we will see a much improved performance chronograph that holds its own reputation similar to the Speedmaster or even the Daytona. Thank you for watching today's episode. Please do like and subscribe to see our upcoming content. See you in the next video.